and this is Ma. And as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a Q and A, but relationship advice. Boo, we're gonna be answering questions and giving our advice or opinion to you guys. Yeah. I'm not. We're not saying it's fully a hundred percent right yeah. or wrong. Some people may agree, some might not. So it's just our advice or what we think. Let's go, guys. Okay, guys. So. I have the questions here on my phone and we're gonna start asking these questions. I don't think it's much, but we'll see. Let's start. <laughs> so the first question is... Uh... <laughs> Wait, some of these questions kind of funny. I don't know if I could actually tell these advice seriously. I'm gonna try to be serious okay. as possible. Okay, so name, but, the yeah. first question Name five things that would make a man never leave you <laughs> Me is always be consistent Never lie Like, it don't make sense to lie to be honest I don't think it makes sense to lie Learn to cook Yeah, learn to cook I'm saying you must know how to cook Because I have a lot yeah. of people who don't know how to cook So at least learn to cook to your man liking and yours obviously because you don't want to just please your man. You want you want you, And give him might... a lay space. <laughs> yes. Give a your man a lay space. Like I ain't telling I like let your man go club and spend a whole two, three days out. Gay space me like let him go during the day and chill two hours with his friend. Don't call him during the two hours that when he come home he can be like, Wow my girl was well this, you know? Get a man's face, G. Yeah, I think, I think, I think partners, like, they need a little space. I believe, like, you shouldn't be under them 24-7. Some people do really want their own space to breathe. Yeah. They don't like to be touchy-touchy and... That's me. And yeah. every, like, you could go right there by the shop. The girlfriend or the boyfriend want to come with you. Like, no, ain't everybody like that. Like, if you know your partner don't like that, don't do it. Give them space. Give them time to breathe, bruh. Oh my goodness! I know, right, girl? I tell you. And the fifth one is what, man? What else? Me, I would say be active. Like, if you see your man like lame and dead, try you be the one to liven up all your day. Don't ever sit down and wait for he to be the one to liven the day up. Cut in for sure and tell you he on sit on that game all day. <laughs> oh, that's that's I like that. That's, that's true. That's true. You know, true. ten years in a relationship, I tell you, you guys, learn to liven up your relationship today and walk a little bit. Not all the times, but sometimes it does work. But like, yeah, you should always find things to do. Don't wait for the man to find something to do. So yeah, I, that one kind of good to yeah, like. I like that one. Y'all can make up what y'all want to do as well. And don't ever go with only what you like. I always ask he opinion in life too, because it do make man feel like yeah. They don't need us. Once a man feel they don't need us, they always watch us like, yeah, we are good doing our thing. So I always give them a little chance to do some for you, especially like man work. Yeah, so it goes. It actually goes, goes for, for both women and men. Yeah. So yeah, that was the five things we named for this question. So what should I do to avoid an argument hmm. from exploding into something big? I didn't see that other part, but. What should the person do to avoid an argument from being something huge, something big? That tricky question because you got you like so much type of different people. Some yeah. that when you ignore them, they just blow more. And when you do talk, they just blow. So you got yeah. so much ways of dealing with certain problems. <laughs> so if you guys know, are you like hyperactive? Because me is a type like, if you don't answer me, I just want to cuss. So I know how to like deal with certain things with... When to come to talking is like talk like how you would like to get talked to point finish you wouldn't want somebody to talk to you like your child so don't talk to your man so if he talking to you out of the way the least you could do is My tell it to him you check only a female <laughs> oh yeah girl, i'm a female but anyways this goes <laughs> this literally goes for male so eh? because if i was a yeah. dude and I'm in a position that my girl talking to me, bow like eyes are like, child, girl, like pulling shit up in the car, now the, 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 we in the party, and I'll be like, yo, babe, don't talk to me, so you and your child, let me go walk up on that thing. <laughs> I could get, like, get to the point anyhow, but yeah. Well, More times should yeah, get each other a chance. I feel like sometimes the best, like this for more mature people, and I don't know, people who, like, I don't know. 
people who know how to be humble. I feel like sometimes you you should just be humble or ignore. Learn to try ignore a situation. Like if you're in a disrespectful something to argue about, learn to like ignore it. I'm I'm not saying you must ignore it all the time, but ignoring is the best. Yeah. I find it's the best win. Cause when you ignore something, you don't you don't you don't hear what be going on. So you have true. peace with yourself, yo. Like you won't you won't really get stressed. Ah, I like go go for a walk, clear your head. I don't know. Move, move from move from by the move person. From the, if you don't, if yeah. you don't want to argue back, move from the person. Move from by the toxic. Like, know them. Take go a for breath. a walk. Third question says, if my man is always out late and when he gets home. He always turns the phone face down on the screen. What should I do? What should you do? So obviously this is a girl asking this question. Now what what you should do? I'm so I am really good in this advising by trying. I ain't gonna lie. I trained for this advising because everybody really different and some That's people don't take things really bad. Answer. But I don't know if it was my situation. I would like take your phone. Put a fuck on top of lot. <laughs> and ask him, how oh, are you fucking old? My bad, too much hours. No. And ask him, like, what the F you're doing? You're talking to your mother or something? And then he would have had to tell me straight up what the hell going on because he wasn't getting that phone back in his hand. I'm sorry. But to avoid the problem, now to be honest with you guys, me talking, that was me. I, I wouldn't have really care about the problem. I'm not going to know who you're talking to. But to avoid problem, I would have just simply said, um... If you're cheating on me, you could just tell me now so I could not to sleep next to you and not cut on my eye and then turn my back on. He he had no one time to tell me what's going on or who he don't think that going, well, might just have girls and might just make boys understand. You can't lay down on a woman bed and text other woman one time. That's okay. bullshit. <laughs> well, then that's why I let you know. Is it a go on? Mm -hmm. Be straight up. Okay, me now, I feel like I, I will address that situation to yeah. him one time. Like, I won't wait for things to get late like i would address it to him one time to be honest and but i would like tell him like yeah let me know because i don't want to waste my time let me know I so i can move on g I and nobody wants to stay there and be hurt like bro that's too much for a woman just, to take on and if you see the acting funny with it then you know something up something yeah. gotta be up but yeah like i don't know just girl save yourself Tell your Don't man put yourself. himself inside of your shoes. And then you do it tomorrow night. You go out. You come home late. You go in your phone. Text your girls. Even though you don't text anybody. You know how to add yourself on Snap. On WhatsApp. <laughs> Message yourself and put a fuck loud. Make sure you hear ping, ping. <laughs> you guys see the man grab. Be careful your man don't grab you in the night and choke out your But, you know, make him feel it. You know, see how life going to change for him. Love. Just <laughs> no, that was a funny uh, answer. <laughs> no, what so, you? So, um, the foot. So we actually have some questions here too. Um, the foot one. This I think this is about us, man. Someone asks, "Where did you meet?" So I think they're talking about your boyfriend. <laughs> Me? Are you getting talking about both of us? You see? Well, yeah, both of us. So I guess. <clears throat> So when yeah. did you meet? Both of us will still answer, even though they were talking about one person. Ma, where you meet? Where your <laughs> boyfriend? Well, my mother sent me school to learn, guys, and I did that. You know, I did that. I sort of got to my school and learn. Can look at me today. But I meet my. She asked me. <laughs> we meet. To be honest, we meet in school. That like the best. But the opposite thing is, I was in school and he just wasn't. <laughs> It's kind of weird, but then you could still call it like school time love now because he was just a couple years, like a year or two years older than me. Two years, man. Shut What? <laughs> <laughs> I swear you could. <laughs> 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 but I have to go and I'll put you. You must go. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> but anyhow, I yeah. yeah that's up. just ma. <laughs> but yeah, like two years older than me and things, so I didn't find out anything bad now. When you say I went in college, you know, and it looks so cute when somebody come picking me up in college. <laughs> That's all. <okay. laughs> oh man, they had a car. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we met on a scooter, guys. <laughs> it was for he bought it, and we meet on a scooter. 
That's the truth. The reality. I met my boyfriend by one of our friends' house. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. Almost every day we used to go by that friend. Well, I actually did know him long time before in school and thing, but I used to talk to him and everything. But we started dealing from by the friend house, and yeah, that's it. That's how we met. Both of us, we used to go school together too. He just was one grade higher yeah. than I, than me. And yeah, that's it. So the other question is, <laughs> how long have you two been together? Wait, what it is? In three more days, it's gonna be six years since we've been oh. together six years that's a lot and right now we're doing a long distance relationship guys but bang our relationship strong period <laughs> no that looks period. Stiff. period we together for nine years nine years and a half my half going to be in August the 29th, guys, on his birthday. <laughs> on his B day, can't wait. Oh, cool. Next question is who liked who like who first? Um, for me, who like who first was the boy like me first. <laughs> My boyfriend like me first. Nah, you can answer. Yeah, for me too was the same. Yeah, like me first. So we don't want this video to be long. We're just gonna try and move on quick. Mm. Someone said, "How to work with a long distance relationship?" <laughs> okay, I think that. Was... Okay, so how to how you think somebody could work with a long distance relationship? I think well, I'm in it, so I say I can see like what it is do out from that. So like to work in a long distance relationship, you have to communicate, to be honest. You have to speak like every day. Me and my boyfriend, we speak every day, literally. <gasps> I know that sounds like a lot, but it's just like texting a friend every day. Yeah. It's super easy. And we video call or call every single day to make sure one another is good. But as sometimes we visit when we can, well, he come visit. <laughs> He does. He visit when he can, but for now can't because all the things that's going on. What else you could do to for a relationship? Can I give you any advice on that? Oh, like update each other on what's going on in your life. Yeah. Never hide things from each other. Just update. Like anything happen, you should be one of the first to know. You know, so you could keep that trust between each other. Must always trust them. Don't keep. When they don't answer your messages, yeah. don't keep, don't, don't accuse them. go off and get mad and thing like, bro, it don't call for all of that. I don't know, but then again, my relationship cool, so y'all, yeah. if y'all want to take that advice, y'all can. Um, okay, okay, man. What you I think, ain't got nothing for think? this kind of relationship, but I find what she's saying is kind of true because if I wasn't one, I wouldn't really want, like, Somebody to keep doubting me or asking me like what I do each minute when basically I just tell you so to me it's like updates sound super cool. Yeah, and updates thing. on your personal life, we what we you know? went. Yeah, video calls like that. Yeah, like everything he updates me with, like mm -hmm. where he cool. been, he had fun, he went to the barber shop, yeah. Like bro, little things like that to show me his hair, he hair cut. <laughs> And even out, outfits yeah even to outfits <laughs> oh what he bought y'all can even buy each other things online and ship it as well you know to always make the other person feel special yeah. and yeah that's it and nothing much you can really do re don't just don't do that don't ask your partner for things yeah. let them do that crap on it leave down below in the comment section any video you guys want to see to we're gonna get it done, period. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment, dude. Comment. Ciao. Bye.